Hey friends, welcome back to Big Nate's Whiskey Lounge. My name is Nate and I'm thrilled to have you along for day 22 of my whiskey advent calendar. Today is going to be Glen Fittick 15 year old Solara cask. This comes in exactly at 40% ABV. This is a single malt scotch whiskey and it comes from Speyside. Um, I own a bottle of the Glen Fittick 12 behind me and in my opinion the Glen Fittick 12 is um, if I were to do a video of like the top or the only five space sides you needed, Glen Fittick would be in there somewhere, probably as a daily sipper. Um, but Glen Fittick 15 year, um, what this is, is it is a single malt, so again, all one distillery, all barley. Um, it's a 15 year old whiskey matured in American bourbon, Portuguese sherry, and virgin oak. The whiskey was then married in a Solara vat. Now, Solara can be confusing. I'm gonna do my best to explain it. I can, it's one of those things where I know it, I don't always, the words coming out of my mouth don't always make sense. What that is, is so they aged it in three separate, they aged whiskey in three different barrels. They then married them together in a massive, massive barrel. They're calling it a Solara vat. What they do is they put all these whiskeys together, they then wait until that whiskey gets to 15 years old. They pour some of it out. They don't pour all of it out. They pour some of it out percentage. Sometimes maybe it's majority, maybe it's only half. We don't know. And then, so they, they then bottle that and it's a 15 year old whiskey. What they do though is they, so there's still whiskey left in that barrel. They put more whiskey in there and they wait until the new whiskey they put in goes till 15 years. Then they barrel that, take a percentage, barrel it, and it's out for the public. Again, leaving whiskey in, they put more new whiskey in, age it until that whiskey is 15 years old. So while it always is going to be age stated at 15 years, there's a good chance you could have over 20, maybe even 30 or 40, I don't know about 40, but you'll have a, you can have, with the age dated 15 year, you could have some very old whiskey inside of that Solara cask. So that is really cool. It is a, it's a 60, it's a $70 bottle in my area. Um, and I'm, would gladly pay, maybe it's 80. Would gladly pay that. And I've been thinking about grabbing a bottle for a while. Um, it's just, I have the 12 and I know that that was, if I had to get one, that was the quintessential one to grab. Um, you can also, there's 18 available, things like that. Um, so, just throwing my garbage out. So today for my glassware, I'm using the Whiskey Tribe coin that I showed you the other day. And then I have these, this little glass here, um, which came in a bottle, which came with, I have two of them, you'll see the other one tomorrow. Um, this is from Highland Park Distillery, um, which I have two bottles behind me, one's the 12, which this came in, and then the Magnus, which is a newer release. Um, but they oftentimes, sometimes you'll buy a bottle and it'll come with a couple glasses, um, which is really cool. Just make sure you're not overpaying. Usually you're not though. What's really cool is I have a bottle of Buchanan's behind me that came with two rocks glasses, and it was the same price for it with the two rocks glasses than just buying the bottle. So I was like, two glasses, why not? Sometimes you get the same thing, same thing with the Highland Park 12. So Highland Park likes to, um, because they are very far north, again, they're in Highland officially, but they should be really an island whiskey. They're very far north and they have Viking heritage. And so they like to honor that in there with their glassware. So the bottle itself is designed really fun. Um, and I'm talking about Highland Park, <laughs> Glen Fittick, I do apologize, but it, they have their Viking code, and apparently number six is hospitality. Um, and I know that's backwards, my apologies. Um, but we're gonna give this a pour and a nose. Again, this is my first time having Glenfiddich 15, and nice color on it. I'm liking it, little, little yellowish. Um, little yellowish, and that's okay. Oh wow, so what note am I, what am I thinking of? I'm thinking of Golden Grams. So growing up in my household, we all got the kids, I'm the oldest of seven, so we never, we didn't, wasn't until later when the older of us started moving out that they started getting the good food, not that they 
spoilers or anything, but we always got Aldi name brand stuff. My dad always had a couple of bottles of cere uh, boxes of cereal. It was good stuff. He was a Captain Crunch fan, and then Golden Grams were really the two um, that that he had that were solely his. Now he eats healthier now, but this was back when I was a kid. Um, and this on the nose was Golden Grams. I'm also getting a little bit of citrusiness, some orangeness, funk from the um, funk from the, the the barley. Maybe a hint of smoke, maybe. Oh, okay. That hit weird. Hit thin, and it grows. This is a growing boy. Um, It's good, really good. Yeah, there's fruitiness. There's um, spices in it. Definitely, it's a, it's a little bit spicy. That is good. That is good. I'll have to, I'll have to grab a bottle and compare it to the 12 one day. But that is really good. Yeah, kind of raisiny. Um, maybe pruney, because I was thinking more of a plum but then dried out, obviously that would be a prune. So maybe a little pruney. Um, yeah, so because of the spice on it, this would be a fantastic Christmas whiskey. If anybody were asking me, hey, what's a great whiskey to have for Christmas? I'm probably going to suggest the Midwinter Night's Dram, the rye, or any rye. If that person was a Scotch person, I would probably send them to this Glenfiddich 15. It's a really good, really good Christmassy whiskey. Um, holds up on the spice end. It's That's really tasty. Really, really tasty. All right, so that's gonna be day 22 of our whiskey advent calendar. I'm really thankful for you guys sticking along. Um, hope you've watched them all. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, and uh, hit the bell for notifications. Um, I'm going to start doing some stuff. So I have a bitty, uh, a bitty, I've been drinking a little bit. So this is day 22. I have two more days left to shoot, which I'm going to do tonight. So I have videos coming out to the 24th and then I do have a Christmas video coming out. Actually, I'm going to talk about the, uh, my Christmas video is going to be the uh, Midwinter Night's Dram from High West. Um, so glad you're sticking along. Appreciate you guys. Tonight, well, when I'm shooting this, this is Monday. This is coming out the 22nd, which is going to be Wednesday. So, because it's Wednesday, go watch Jason C. on Mash and Draw. If he does a live stream, might not be doing it tonight with Christmas. Maybe he is, maybe he's not, I don't know. But if he is, go check him out. Then check out Women of Whiskey. Um, they come on Wednesdays as well. And then follow it up late night, if she's doing it, Trish from Whiskey Eyes does a late stream. If it's the 22nd, I might hop on. Um, she lets people come in and it's a great time. I've been on with her a few times. Um, so you might see me, you'll see other people that I want you to know in the whiskey world. Um, and thanks for sticking around. I'll see you guys. Cheers.